What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to share a quick story I had seen and it has to do with the new Mustang Mach-E and the claims that it is outselling the gas-powered Mustang. Now if you maybe go anywhere on Facebook you will see clickbait articles as far as the eye can see. That's the age we live in between the news and Facebook and every online publication, YouTube, whatever. It's all about the clicking, the ad revenue and everything. And so they want people to click the links or even just skim them, which I think most people do. So I had seen this article how the Mach-E is apparently outselling the gas-powered variants of the Mustang and it just, it seemed odd to me. You know, I get that electrification is getting bigger and bigger, but it's still minuscule. I mean, I think it's like 2% of the, the vehicles sold in the U.S. are electrification. And so I'm reading the article and some of the articles didn't really even discuss what was going on. It just, like I said, it seemed odd. So then I started doing more digging. Well, buried in some of these articles, some were more prominent than others, but many had it buried, was the fact that Ford is prioritizing their microchips, the semiconductor chips, to their launch vehicles. So the launch vehicles that they've really talked about are gonna be the Bronco Sport, the regular Bronco, the, I'm assuming the Ford Lightning at some point, and also the Mach-E. So you know you have the Mach-E and the two Broncos anyways that need to be produced because you've had orders put in and people are waiting for these and you've hyped them up. Well, if you're prioritizing those chips, you're not going to be making many gas variants of it and that's exactly what has happened. So these, these outlets have failed to talk about this or they choose to bury it because they know most people aren't going to... Uh, read the articles and sure enough go on any of these Facebook uh, posts here and you'll see all the people that didn't read talking about how electric is superior and all this stuff and, and again I'm not going into that but it's just funny that this is kind of the world we live in where it is you really have to do your own research to see is, is am I actually getting the correct story or what's the angle someone's you know trying to show and and I have some quotes here um, it says, this is from uh, Business Insider, it says, the automaker cited the worldwide shortage of semiconductor chips in its decision to cut production at several facilities in Michigan, Illinois, and Kansas. Uh, CEO Jim Farley previously said that Ford is prioritizing the chips it does have for the production of its new Mach-E and Bronco models, according to Bloomberg. And he's quoted by saying, if we can switch a module over to one of those launch vehicles we have, we're very protective of the launches because they are so important for our businesses. And they do go on to say in the article, even with the lapse in production, Ford says gas-powered Mustangs still outsold the EV version with 4436 sold in May and 29264 for the year, or about three gas cars per EV. The company also says reservations for the forthcoming F-150 Lightning have topped 70 thousand so far and again it, it just kind of goes to show you that we're just kind of living in a clickbait world so I wanted to make this because I think this has been going around and it is simply not true always do your own research and you'll be much better off so thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you in the next one take care